I have been making a new animated video every day for 15 years and there were some things that slowed me down. For example, to create new compositions, you need to press three keys on the keyboard at the same time. Was it better to with one button? I think yes. Or edit the settings of the solid. Again, we need to press three keys from the keyboard. I'm tired to pressing Ctrl Alt F on my keyboard to put full HD video into focus compositions. Sometimes I want to use both hands on the keyboard at the same time. For example, I have to press Ctrl Shift I on the keyboard to lock and unlock layers. I have to use both my hands here, and there are many such examples. If I count them, the video will not end. I solved this problem with Turbox device. Indeed, this device is a game changer. So guys, welcome to tutorial and in this video I will show how to create animation with using Turbox in After Effects. So for example, let's go to timeline for C animation. Okay, we have already rigging character with animation keyframes, but I'm gonna show at some keyframes for this head composition and I will show tip tricks with using Turbox and let's go to back. Okay, so first one, let's add rain animation and let's create new composition with this button and add name rain and click OK. So, and let's create new solid layer and I will use this button. Let's click here and add name CC rain. Click OK and go to FX Presses Search FX CC rain. And select the CC rainfall. Let's use for solid layer. Okay, we have animation, and let's change some settings. For example, sizes and drops, and wind for natural rain animation, and scene deep. Let's see. Okay, not bad. And let's and let's close conversation. Go to project and select this rain compensation. Move to inside our main compensation. And let's go to normal. If you not see this part, click toggle switch mode. And let's go to normal and let's add, let's use add. Okay, let's see. Nice. And right now let's add mask for some of these frames. Select rain compensation and go to rectangle tool and let's select here ellipse tool make one mask okay and let's select this rain composition go to solo and let's see okay okay and let's open mask i will use again toolbox button let's click this if i click first time i will see only mask one and mask path and if i click double this button I will see all these mask features. So let's change mask feature like this. Okay, let's select this and change feature and expansion like this. Okay, and let's unsolo this conversation. Let's see. Okay, that's good. I like it. Okay, so let's scroll down. I will use this scroll button for go to down and see all these layers. And let's select this head layer and go to solo. So let's go to some keyframes and press R, open rotation, make rotation tool and go to some keyframes and change rotation like this. Go to again some keyframes and create new keyframe. Go to again here, 50 frames, change rotation like this. Okay, let's see. Okay. I like this part. And go to here. Let's create new keyframe again. Go to some keyframes and let's change it like this. Okay, and go to here change again rotation to back and change zero 
So select these two frames. Let's copy and go to here. Let's paste two frames like this. Okay, let's let's preview animation. Nice and unsolo. Very nice. This head animation very natural with these two frames. Okay, so after create two frames. I want to make smooth and natural animation. Let's first go to here, first second, and click rotation for select all two frames. All select manually like this, and right mouse, keyframe ascend and ease or F9. And right now, let's go to graph editor for see smooth keyframes. For this, just click this button, and here we go. We have graph editor and let's go to here we can change graph let's select first keyframe change graph and this keyframe change graph okay also can select all these keyframes and let's zoom in here okay first select this keyframe move to left and this move to right for filing animation and this keyframes chain rotation like this Okay, again, click this button for back to keyframes. Nice, and let's see. Let's preview animation. Okay, very nice. So, final animation. I want to create new composition for car sizes. And let's go to again here and click this icon for create new composition. Add name for car. And select preset here for car. And click OK. And open this folder, select this main composition, this is full HD sizes, and let's move the inside for car composition. So, let's change quality quarter, and let's see. Okay. And right now I want to fill a comp this composition, go to first second, and without toolbox, I was go to here and click fit a comp or control alt F. So select this composition and click this button for fit to comp. Okay, nice. And let's see. Very nice. And the animation is complete. Now, let's delve into my trough. As of now, there are three types of Turbox available. And the first one is a Turbox Neo, which I have been using for the past two years and continue to use it today. And there is Turbox Elite, Essentially similar to Neo, but offering wireless functionality and available on different colors. Let's see there's Turbox Lite, the model shown in the video. Now, which one would I recommend? Well, there are noticeable differences among the three versions, especially in terms of the directional pad and dial. So, personally, I would pay extra for the dial as I love the vibe it brings when I scroll the timeline. I also love using the D-pad to access the tools. So, for me, Neo is endurable the preferred choice. However, it's worth mentioning that Ultra of Light lacks the directional pad and dial, its build quality matches that of Neo. Its price is about half of Neo's, making it definitely worth considering. I highly recommend getting one. It might not be a must have, it will undoubtedly make everything easier for you. Check out the coupon and link below for more details. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!